reverting back to a snapshot. So now that we've taken our initial snapshot, let's say we want to make some more changes. Okay, I'm going to open this WordPad file that we created in the previous movie. This WordPad file says Friday 3 p.m. version. To simulate change that changes happened, I'm going to change the content of this file to Friday 3.10 p.m. version. I'm going to save it. And I'm going to close it. So we've made that change. In the real world, we're going to run Windows Update. We're going to install programs, things like that. But let's say everything's good. We like it where it's at again. So let's take another snapshot. I'm going to call this one Friday 3.10 p.m. version. And let's say we ran Windows Updates. Really, all we did was change that WordPad file, but for demonstration purposes, we'll just put Windows Registry changed, and let's go back. Take a look at the progress there. 5%, 85%, and it's complete. Okay, so that snapshot's been taken. So that's another good working one. Now let's say we make some changes and install some programs that break it, and I'm going to change this to Friday 3.20 p.m. version. Okay, let's say those programs broke everything, right? So this says Friday 3.20 p.m. version right now, and in the real world, we're installing programs and things aren't working right, so we want to revert back to our previous snapshot. Sort of go back in the time to that snapshot we titled Friday 3.10 p.m. version, and when this WordPad file says Friday 3.10 p.m. version. So let's go back to our vSphere client, and there are a couple of ways to do this. I'm going to right-click on the virtual machine, go to Snapshot. We can select Revert to Snapshot, and this will revert back to the last snapshot you took, Friday 3.10 p.m. version. That's important to remember, because if you've got multiple snapshots, you may want to go back to a particular snapshot. Let's take a look at the Snapshot Manager. I like the Snapshot Manager because you can see exactly what version you're going back to, or exactly what snapshot you're reverting back to. And notice we've got Friday 3 p.m. version here, and we've got Friday 3.10 p.m. version. So Friday 3.10 p.m. version is actually building off Friday 3 p.m. version, and it says you are here. So the changes we've made are above Friday 3.10 p.m. version. Now we could select a snapshot and click Go To, and this would revert back to a particular snapshot. But let's say we just want to revert back to the first one, Friday 3 p.m. version. And this is an important message here. It says, current state of the virtual machine will be lost unless it has been saved in a snapshot. Are you sure you want to revert to the snapshot? And this is important, because if we made changes we want to keep and we want to revert back without taking a snapshot of where it's at now, then we will lose those changes. But I don't mind losing them, because we broke it. So I'm going to click yes, and we can see the progress bar down here. It's reverting back. 50%, 60, and it's complete. So let's go ahead and go back. Let's open this guy up. And notice it says Friday 3 p.m. version. So we successfully reverted back to where it was before we made these changes, and this is truly the power of the snapshot. It can really help us out when we're making critical changes and things like that. Did you know that after watching our videos, you can sign up for a week of remote access to our VMware lab? It's custom built and allows you to actually practice on enterprise grade VMware servers and storage. VIAdmin.com provides a remote server environment or VMware practice lab composed of vSphere ready lab servers for class or individual use. You can sign up at www.viadmin.com for access to the lab. You get one dedicated server with lots of memory, plenty of network cards, co-training servers in a cluster, two shared SAN LANs, management station, and a KVM controller to manage your server. Within the VMware lab, you can set up any scenario including multipathing, high availability, vMotion, fault tolerance, DRS, create 10, 15, or more virtual machines, and test all of the VMware advanced features. One more thing, we have an instructor-led vSphere training consisting of live mentoring, e-labs, and e-lectures, all delivered online. The training offers the professional a specialized tutoring platform that isn't available elsewhere and includes a schedule that matches your particular needs, live one-to-one -one tuition with an instructor, various labs, and Q&A sessions, and the chance to master VMware virtual infrastructure on a real-life teaching environment. Our VMware virtual mentoring goes far beyond mere video teaching. With access to a live tutor, you'll be helped through the different labs and you'll have an opportunity to ask questions and learn even more. So if you're really looking to gain hands-on VMware experience, you've come to the right place. Sign up for VMware Lab, self-managed access, or join one of our instructor-led trainings today. Thanks for watching. Oh, I forgot to mention, we have a special YouTube subscribers bonus. 
When you sign up for access to our VMware lab, send us your YouTube username and we'll give you an in-depth, easy to follow, step-by-step -step lab book with lots of exercises and over 200 pages of top quality training for free.